Hi guys, it's Natalia here. I'm here today to share with you my full coverage foundation routine. I was just about to get ready to do a video and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to film my foundation, which is foundation, concealer and powder, just to sort of show how I get it. The full coverage foundation that I use is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. I've only picked this one up recently and I really, really like it. I sort of have dry combination skin at the moment. I get oily in my T-zone, I've got slight dryness, so I didn't want to fight, um, I don't like full coverage foundations because I find that it sort of accentuates the dryness, but I found that in the last couple of weeks that I've been using this, it hasn't done that at all, and I really, really enjoy using it. If you want to see how I get this flawless foundation look, then keep watching. So to start off with my full coverage foundation routine, um, I have just cleansed my face, I used my Clarisonic, so it is just very, very freshly washed. As you can sort of see around here, I've got a few breakouts around my chin and uh, mouth and my jaw area. Um, I've got a bit of redness here to probably tell my um, face is a lot paler than my the rest of my body. Um, so because of that, I match my foundation to the rest of my body. So people are going to say this foundation is too dark for you. It's too dark for my face, but that way my face and my body match. So that's the most important thing for me. So the foundation I'm going to be using is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. I've recently picked this up and as a full full coverage foundation, I've found that I've really, really enjoyed it, which is, I'm actually quite surprised about it. But I'll talk about that while I'm doing it. Um, so to start off with, I'm going to be using a primer. I'm using MAC Prep and Prime. I find this um, primer has sort of got light reflecting particles in it which is why I kind of like using that under a full um, coverage foundation just because I just find that the full coverage foundation can sometimes look very very flat on my face and I like the um, primer underneath just to sort of radiate a little bit of light so it doesn't seem to be so flat and I guess mask light. The next thing because I've got these couple of spots here that are actually just quite um, dark. I'm going to put on a tiny bit of concealer beforehand. I'm using my MAC Studio Sculpt Concealer and this is in NW35 and I'm just going to get a, I'm going to get just like a flat foundation brush onto those spots just to help conceal them before I put the foundation on. I don't normally do this, I normally just conceal after but just because they're so um, dark and I just want to help cover them up first. The foundation I'm using, as I said, is MAC Studio, Sculpt, Studio Fix Fluid. Um, this is in the colour NW35 as well. I, when I, bought, I only bought it a couple of weeks ago and I've been using it a lot, but when I bought it, I didn't get the pump for it, so it's really quite annoying. I will go back and get the pump, but in the meantime, I'm just using it out of the bottle. I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand, get my finger, and just uh, dot it on my face, focusing more on the centre of my face. Um, that way, most of the product will be on the centre and sort of just blends out. I've got a damp beauty blender, and I'm just going to start blending that in. I love the beauty blender for you uh, applying a full coverage foundation because I find that it just blends it really, really nicely. It leaves it sort of like a flawless airbrush look, and it doesn't let it be cakey at all. Whereas I find if you use like your hands or a different kind of brush, maybe even like a buffing brush, you have more of a chance of getting the full coverage foundation to look cakey and that's not what you want. And then when you do a full coverage foundation, it is best to, don't forget to go over your ears if it's not the same colour as your ears and behind your ears as well because that is actually the lightest part on your face, it just helps blend it down. Take it down onto your neck to help blend it out with your hairline and you do when you when you're doing your foundation around your hairline in the beauty blender, just sort of push it and roll it into your hairline. That will also blend it out really nicely. Okay, so that is the foundation done. Now I'm gonna go back with any more concealing that I may need to do. I'm gonna go back with my studio sculpt concealer and just to put that on any other dots that I may have in on my face that I would like to help conceal. Just put this is really, really thick concealer, so you really only need the lightest, lightest amount. Rub my nose. And then with the Beauty Blender again, just go over that really lightly, and that will help blend it out and give it that flawless look. So for under eye concealer, I don't use my Studio Sculpt concealer for my under eyes because it is really, really thick and it does tend to cake up a bit. The concealer I've been using and I've been really loving for my under eye area is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is the new one that came out recently. I'm in the colour Medium Dark 1 Biscuit. 
So I just go and put that right in the corner of my eyes and just sort of bring it down and just you know randomly pat it around there. This conceal I find um, blends better when you use your um, fingers. So just go in with my ring finger and just sort of pat it underneath my eye. Really just blend that out. Concealer has amazing coverage. It's really surprised me when I got it. The coverage is fantastic and I find that it doesn't crease either. So double bonus. They've done a really good job with this concealer and it's certainly gone up there as one of my favourite concealers. If you just want to go and blend it out a little bit more, go in with the um, beauty blender. But I use the pointed end and I really just go in there and just get underneath my eye and just blend it out. Bring it down to the side of your nose as well just to give that lightness to your face. Then just to set it all, the powder, I normally would use a translucent powder, but because I'm going for a full coverage look, I just want to add, not so much a bit more coverage, but I'm going to be using a coloured powder. With a translucent powder, I tend to use that because it doesn't alter the colour of the foundation, but I'm going to go in with a um, mineralised skin finish natural and just set my face with this, add just a tiny bit more coverage. So I'm going to use, what brush have I got? I'm going to use my Real Techniques powder brush um, and just the pat it in. I don't want to rub it or sweep it, I just want to pat it in for now. I'm addicted to these mineralized skin finish powders. I think they are really, really fantastic. I also find that they don't leave your face completely, completely matte, which is something I don't like. Um, I do have a tendency to have dry skin, so the last thing I want is having a matte face. I like it to have a bit of a glow to it, and um, I find this helps it also along with this primer. Um, you obviously don't need to use this primer if you've got any other like drugstore brands like the L'Oreal Lumi Magic's another one that has light reflecting properties in it. Um, so any kind of lightening primer I use for a full coverage. So just pat that on, brush it really close under my eyes just to help set that concealer. And that is it, is my full coverage foundation routine. So that's basically just foundation and concealer. Um, if you want to see how I do uh, contour and highlighter and blush and stuff, leave it in the comment bar. I can do that as a separate video. But that's guys, it. so that was it. That's how I got this flawless foundation face. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please leave it in the comment bar below and I'll certainly get back to you. If you have um, any video requests or anything as well, also let me know what you'd like to see as well. I'll be more than happy to see what I can do. And that's it. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week and I will talk to you soon. Bye.